and what is up everybody jeremy here excited to bring to you another starfield creation kit supplemental video today is a quick psa on using unique tabs in the shipbuild yes we're still on this because i was trying to create a very cool reactor that had a hab inside but when i placed it in my own unique tab in the shipbuilder it wasn't recognized as a reactor. It was only recognized as a reactor when it was in its own category for reactors in the game. So that's what I want to talk about today. Just real quick, let's go ahead and show you what's going on. Let's go into our unique RAM tech habs, like tab that I created. I added a whole bunch of things. Right, let me just go down the list. Let me figure out what works, what doesn't work. And yes, and this is the, these are the errors that are showing up. Oops, wrong button, wrong button. These are the errors are showing up. Missing a cockpit, missing engines, reactors, so forth and so forth. Fuel. So, and it, even the landing gear. Landing gear is there, but it's now saying that's underneath the landing bay. I don't know. But anyway, all, all those pieces are in there, but they're all connected or all listed in my unique tab. So this is what's going on. Let me just give you an idea of what is or what's good and what's not good. So unique individual categories, unique individual category tabs are good for the following habs equipment structural pieces and weapons i highlighted highlighted these in green because i think that takes up the most of lists out there so definitely structural pieces weapons place them in its own unique category that's fine the items that must be in its own category to be recognized or must be in its correct category i'll do that correct category to be recognized are cockpits engines fuel tanks grab drives landing gear reactors and shields even though shields are not recognized if it's in your own category i put category tab category tab right it'll only give you a warning which is great and it'll still work it'll still work you'll still get your shields even if it's not in the correct category so that's all i wanted to say this is it this is this is all i wanted to say and, and just kind of acknowledge real quick that there are certain pieces in the shipbuilder that must be in its correct category in order to be recognized that's all that's it if you like this video don't forget to hit the like button don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel as everything does help out don't forget to check out the whole entire series if you're learning how to use the creation kit for the very first time but yana guys that's all i had to say something real quick because i'm dealing with it and since we're kind of talking about it in the last two videos, let's make sure we have this out there. I'm guessing there's probably something like this for outposts as well. If you try to create a unique tab in the outpost, there might be certain pieces in there that can only be recognized if it's in its correct category. I'm guessing it's probably the um, the, the power units. That's probably one That's that might, be, that might need to be there. But who knows? I don't know. I'm talking about ships right now. But anyway, we'll see you all next time. Have a great day, everybody. And, uh, yeah, peace out. Thank you so much for all the love and support, as always. Say on the hearts without you, we just wouldn't be doing what we're doing. So thank you, thank you, thank you. See you again real soon, guys. Peace.